Developing now, a drill rig collapsed and Salt Lake City is under investigation this morning. The incident sent the rig operator to the hospital and forced part of State Street to close. That's where we find April Baker. She's live now with an update. April, good morning. Good morning, Carrie, Dan. Crews are cleaning up the mess right now caused by the collapse, but we just got an update within the last 30 minutes from Jacobson Construction, the general contractor for this project. They say they've never seen something like this occur, but always ensure that they have safety protocols in place, so they're now sorting through the details of this collapse as we speak. They say they were doing foundation work for a luxury apartment building when the incident happened just after 9 Tuesday night. They say the rig operator suffered a fracture in their lower back after falling about 20 feet when it happened, but they are expected to be okay. When the rig fell, it crushed two parked cars that were unoccupied at the time. There are also businesses nearby, including Jeannie's Smoke Shop. The manager tells us the incident is unnerving. It makes me feel a little bit unsafe, you know, second guessing. I had just assumed that those, everything over there was going to be fine, and uh, obviously that's not the case. Humphleet says he's a lot more interested now in learning if things were actually running the right way because he says this should not have happened. Meanwhile, Jacobson Construction says the work will be put on hold while they look into the collapse. In the meantime, they say you can expect the roads to be blocked off here on South Street, State Street from 1st to uh, uh, first and 2nd South to be blocked off at least for the next 24 hours. And we'll keep you posted as soon as those become open once again. Reporting live in downtown Salt Lake City, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.